When you think about Serena's business model, it's pretty extraordinary and unique in drug development. We're working with a clinically de-risked molecule. That's what we're taking into a phase 1B trial in patients, actual patients, not normal healthy volunteers, with our commercial product profile, what we believe is the approvable drug. So starting with a de-risked molecule dials out a tremendous amount of clinical risk, getting proof of principle that a drug, a molecule, has clinical efficacy. We already know we're starting with that. So what we're bringing to that clinically proven molecule is a better product that our technology optimizes. We can take a molecule that may have significant side effects in its current form of administration and perhaps dial those out. We can certainly create a longer acting injectable version of that drug that may be an outstanding product in addition to the clinician's toolkit for a particular indication. And neuroscience has many of those indications where a long acting injectable would be an advancement from a product standpoint and a patient care standpoint. So when you think about the traditional drug development risk reward scenario, it is a long period of time and a lot of risk from beginning to end when you're dealing with novel chemical entities and a novel mechanism of action that our approach doesn't run into. We still have to do clinical trials, but because we're relying on the safety and efficacy of a proven molecule, our clinical trials are shorter, they're smaller typically, and the period of time to get to an NDA, a new drug application that's actually approved, is dramatically condensed. So the dollars required as an investment in that asset at that program are a fraction of traditional drug development approaches.